Hey Ben, guess what? What? We get to roll dice today. Okay. So in this episode, we're going to discuss ability scores. What they are, what they do, and how to get them. Every character has six ability scores. Strength, Dexterity, Constitution, Wisdom, Intelligence, and Charisma. They were covered on page 15 to 20 in the core rulebook. Okay, two questions. Shoot. Uh, first, what's the difference between wisdom and intelligence? The fool doth think he is wise, but the wise man knows himself to be a fool, bitch. Oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't get it. Okay, so a good way to think about ability scores is to think of them in the terms of tomatoes. Ah, I believe it's pronounced tomato. No, no, nobody says it like that. Mm -mm. Okay, so strength is being able to crush a tomato. Dexterity is being able to dodge a tomato that's being thrown at you. Constitution is surviving after eating a rotten tomato. And intelligence is knowing a tomato is a fruit, while wisdom is knowing to not put a tomato in a fruit salad. Finally, charisma is being able to sell that tomato-based fruit salad. Did you write that? Nah, I took it from Reddit. Ah, oh, sweet. Thanks for the free content, internet. Second question. All right, shoot. So, could you explain charisma a little more? Is it like how attractive your character is? I'll let someone a little more knowledgeable handle this one. You have got charisma! What is that? It's a special quality of leadership that captures the popular imagination and inspires allegiance and devotion. Got it? <laughs> Time to munch on some grap. And it. Uh, any other questions? Yep, do we roll dice now? Sure do. Dice are used as one of the methods to generate ability scores. There are a total of five official methods in the core rulebook, and each can be used to create characters of differing ability levels. The various methods are described on page 15. Your GM will tell you what method he or she prefers. So base ability scores range from 3 to 18, with 3 of course being the lowest. Scores are increased or decreased after the racial modifiers are factored in, but they cannot be lowered below 1. Any more questions? Yes. Am I supposed to ask you which stat generation method you prefer? So to keep things simple, we're going to use the classic method, where you roll 4 d6s and drop the lowest score. You'll do this 6 times and then assign the scores to whatever ability you want. Okay, here goes. Uh, is that good? Well, the average ability score is usually rough out to 10, and you got a 13.5. So yeah, you did good. You're a fighter, so the most important abilities for you are strength, constitution, and dexterity. The three less important abilities are Intelligence, Wisdom, and Charisma. We're going to assign the scores you roll to each of the six abilities. Which is the most important? Probably Strength, followed by Constitution. You see, Strength allows you to hit harder, while Constitution allows you to have more hit points, making you harder to kill. Oh, I guess I'll put the two 17s there then? Right. I want Garthok to be an indestructible mound of hair and muscle. <laughs> Great, okay. That would make Garthok more like a tank which is a character that takes the punishment while the more fragile creatures dole out the damage. Garthok will stand selflessly in the breach, a bulwark against the forces of evil! Good. Now we have to deal with your 10 and your 6, which we should probably place in Wisdom, Intelligence, or Charisma. So how about it? Do you want Garthok to be hideously ugly, hideously stupid, or make hideously bad life choices? Well, it seems to me that Garthok is the kind of dwarf who makes the wrong choices repeatedly and as hard as possible. Okay, great. So we'll stick the six into wisdom then, and then we'll put the ten into the charisma. Charisma! <laughs> the fifteen and the sixteen will go into dexterity and intelligence. And dexterity is helpful for warriors since it does make dodging attacks easier. But intelligence is good for skills, which are what you use when you're not fighting. But we'll cover skills in the next episode. Just know for now that they're pretty important. Okay, uh, I'm guessing Garthok is going to be more combat oriented. So I say we put the 16 in dexterity and the 15 in intelligence. All right, done and done. You're sounding like a real player now, using words like oriented and everything. Nice. Now, as we mentioned, every race has racial modifiers to their ability scores. And dwarves get a plus two to constitution and wisdom, but they get a minus two to their charisma. So, let's adjust these base scores a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's it? Mm, pretty much. 
We just need to enter the ability score modifiers into your character sheet. Right, and those modifiers are located on page 17 of the rule book, so... Uh, hang on, I'll take this. Oh, yeah. look at Mr. Fancy Table Reader over here. Right. right. So, his strength is a 17, which is a plus 3. Mm -hmm. uh, his constitution is a 19, which is a plus 4. Beefcake. Uh, eight wisdom is minus one. Eight charisma is minus one. Beefcake. And 16 dexterity is plus three. And 15 intelligence is plus two. Right. Good. Nicely done. So what do you say we'll get back to the studio then? So this is a good lesson because so much of the mechanics of Pathfinder is based on your ability to read tables and locate modifiers, either on your character sheet or in the core rule book. The more info you have on your character sheet, the better. It makes playing a lot more fun when you can just look down at your sheet and do quick calculations on the fly, rather than flip through a 500 page rule book. Because remember, the role in role play is when you roll the dice, and the play is where you add or subtract modifiers to those roles. I thought the role was the character you played, and the play was playing that character. And yeah, yeah, I agree to disagree. Fair enough. So Garthok has ability scores. Are we ready to smash stuff yet? Soon. Very soon. But before we go smashing, we need to find a way to use those ability scores. And that's where skills come in. Because girls only want boyfriends who got sweet skills. <laughs> Numchuk skills, bow hunting skills, computer hacking skills. Oh wow, these are some really hip 10 year old references. Do you have any Austin Powers bits you want to throw in there? Hang on, wait. You made a son-in-law reference and that movie is at least 20 damn years old. Yeah. Yeah, well... <laughs> nice one. Awesome. Cool. Great. Well, that's it, guys. Remember, if you liked what you saw in this video, like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you saw, leave us a bunch of insulting comments. Try to make us cry. It'll be so fun. Yeah. Either way, be sure to join us next time when we discuss skills. Until then, we are Saving Throw and... Let's Dungeon!